just couldn't hold no more. If they had, they wouldn't feel that. On this episode of Backyard Texas Style Barbecue and More, we're going to focus a little bit on the more part. We're going to do a Dutch oven cook. We are going to do dirty peppers, and it is a dirty rice stuffed bell pepper. We're going to cook it all in the Dutch oven for you, and it's on this episode of Backyard Texas Style Barbecue and More. Stick around. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to light our charcoal. There's many different methods you can do. Tumbleweeds seem to work the best. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply light these up. We're gonna set this over the top of that. Then we're gonna pour our charcoal in. Now we're gonna prep the vegetables, get it ready for the pot. What you're gonna do is you're gonna separate your celery out. You're just gonna cut it into just some little slivers here. Just gonna take it, we're gonna chop our... Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the tops off these bell peppers and we're gonna de-seed them. You can also cut a little bit off of the bottom here, make it so it'll stand a little flatter. We're gonna take our little paring knife here, and we're just gonna work our way, we're gonna work our way around. All right, one thing we gotta to do too, is you gotta cut your bell peppers into strips, into little chunks for this. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our, our bell pepper, and the best thing to do is to lay it out flat. So we're just cutting it in little strips, and honestly, it would not be a trinity from the Louisiana if it did not have onion in it. And you're more than welcome to use a medium onion. I like green onion because it gives a little better flavor for me. Last thing we're gonna put in, we're gonna put in some fresh garlic. So while we were cutting our vegetables up, our charcoal was getting ready and it looks like it's just about ready to go. If we can look down in here, we see that it's got nice red coals. It's got a lot of heat coming from it. No more smoke. We're just gonna kind of place them in a circular pattern here. We're using a combination of two Dutch ovens today. We're going to use a smaller one to cook our meat and our stuffing in. So we're going to set that there and just let it get good and hot. You kind of shove, you're going to shove these coals up under the bottom of this on the outside edge of it. And this is going to allow that pot to get hot. You're going to shove these coals up underneath the edge of this pot here. This is what's going to heat your pot up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this lid off and we're going to allow this thing to get hot. While it's getting hot, we're going to add us a little cooking oil. Now you can use any cooking oil you like, peanut, olive oil, whatever you, whatever you prefer. And you don't need a lot because you don't want a lot of grease in the bottom of this thing when you cook your rice. So just a little bit just to make sure that your sausage or whatever meat you decide to use isn't going to stick to the bottom. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our ground meat. Now you're more than welcome to use anything you like, breakfast sausage, ground beef, ground pork, whatever. We've got some pork, spicy Italian sausage that we're going to add to the pot at this time. You hear that sizzle? That's what you want to hear. You want to hear that sizzle. So let you know your, your fire is hot. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it sitting here for about three or four minutes. Let it get browned up on one side. We don't want to disturb it too much. It gets that good crusty brown coating over the outside edge of that, that sausage. And that's what makes that goodness, that crusty brown crust. Now once you put this sausage in here or your ground beef or whatever it is you put in there, you don't have to touch it. Leave it sitting there for about three or four minutes. Allow it to develop that crust because that's gonna give you a little extra texture in this dish. So that's not a bad thing to let it sit there. So we'll, we'll let it cook about three or four minutes on this side and then we'll try to flip the whole thing over and do the same thing on the other side. And then once we get to that point, we'll just start kind of smashing it up into little bits and pieces so we get on to the next step. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna hopefully get this in one flail swoop. Look at that. Look at that nice little brown crust on there. That's what we're looking for. That is gonna give you a little texture and a little more flavor in this dish. Okay, so we've been cooking this for about three to four minutes on each side. And we're gonna look at this other side to see how brown we got it. And we're, we're about there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna chop this up into nice little pieces here. Cause you're gonna, you're gonna want like a, ground, like a ground beef consistency. The next step is we are going to add our vegetables. As I said before, when you add your vegetables, you're gonna add everything but the garlic. These vegetables here take the longest to cook, the celery, the bell pepper, the onion, the garlic. Like I said, you don't want that, that burnt flavor on it, so put it in last. Gonna scoop up the vegetables here, and throw them in the Dutch oven. And we're gonna swirl them around a little bit so we get a good cook on them. And you're gonna say, how do you know when they're done? How do you know when they're ready to go? Well, you'll know because Right now they're a vibrant green. When they start turning translucent and they kind of lose some of that color, that's when you know that it'll be ready for the next step. Be ready for your edge of garlic. As you can see, the vegetables now have lost pretty much most of the color, they're translucent, so it's time to add the garlic.
Once we add the garlic, we're gonna start building our flavors now. So we're gonna add salt, a good thing to add. And I'm gonna put about a, about a teaspoon in there. We'll do the same thing with our pepper. And I like the, I like the big ground black pepper, table grind black pepper. I don't like that pepper dust. We're gonna do about the same, about a teaspoon. We're gonna add more garlic powder. We're gonna do the same, about a teaspoon. Put that in there. And last but not least, we're gonna add us some Cajun spice because it wouldn't be dirty rice without that cre Cajun Creole spice. We're gonna put about a table, about a teaspoon and a half in this one. We're just gonna put that in there. We're gonna give it a good stir. This is really all gonna to come together when we add the chicken stock in the last step of this process. Let's get everything good and done. And you can smell the fragrant garlic coming off there right now. It just smells so good. Makes you wanna dive right in. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add one cup of long grain white rice. So you're gonna to wanna to stir this around to kind of a golden color on that rice. It's gonna add a nuttiness flavor to that rice. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some bone broth, chicken bone broth. We're gonna do about two cups, which is about half of this container here. We're gonna put it in there and we're gonna let this rice come to a boil. So we've got half, about half of that container of chicken stock in here. We're gonna give it a good stir here. You can see this nice golden color here. It's nice, starting to turn a nice golden color. That is what we wanna see. All them spices, all those herbs we put in there are starting to come together. Before we seal it up, we're gonna put about two or three of these bay leaves. Just a little bay leaf in there. We're gonna put about two or three of these in there. It's gonna add a little bit more flavor. So we're gonna put our lid on here so it'll come up to heat quicker. And what we wanna do is we wanna give this thing a little turn. What happens if you don't turn this ever so often, you get hot spots develop and it'll tend to burn. So you just wanna turn it a quarter turn or so, just to make sure everything's coming to, you know, everything's getting the same temp time on it, getting the same cook, level of cook double of doneness and we can take a few coals and just dump them on top of here it's going to speed up the cooking process all right so we're going to pull these bay leaves out of here get them out of the way because we surely don't want to eat those and we're going to stir this up a little bit we're going to make sure that all that water that liquid that that chicken broth is absorbed and that rice is as tender as it can be this next step, we're gonna stuff the bell peppers with our rice mixture. So we're gonna stuff these and then we're gonna put them back in the Dutch oven. We're gonna stuff each one of these bell peppers with just a little over a quarter cup of, of mix mixture here. And at this point, you could top these with cheese. You could do a lot of different things with them. We're just gonna put the tops back on them and then we're gonna let, put them back in the Dutch oven and let them do their thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add just a little more of this chicken broth. We've got some left over here. And just to keep these from getting scorched on the bottom, we're just gonna add just a little, just a little bit of chicken broth on the bottom. It'll provide a little steam as well to help these things soften up and cook. So we're just gonna take them and we're gonna place them inside the pot here, Dutch oven. Hopefully that one's not too, too tall for that lid to close. Back on top of here. And at this point, we're gonna add just a few more coals just so we can ensure that it stays hot and cooks all the way through and it doesn't take as long to cook. We're probably looking at anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes to get these completely done where they're soft and tender and everything's done in the middle. So we'll see you then. All right, peppers are done. Time to pull these things out and they are a little soft. They will fall apart on you. And that is one of the stuffed peppers right there, man. That is a thing of beauty. We got one here that's deconstructed just so you can see what the inside of this thing looks like. You can see that, man. That is like, that is goodness right there. Hey, this is Jamie Richards. Everybody, you've been listening to Never Been to Texas. You've been watching Texas, Backyard Barbecue, and more. Let's get smoking.